sad, sad day again in the trucking industry. YouTube, YouTube, what is going on? I'm your host, Runaway Child, and I'm back at y'all with another one. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, take the opportunity right now. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed to the channel, hey, throw a like on this video. A like don't cost you anything to throw on this video, so please show your boy some love. But anyhow, what I got for y'all today is sad, sad day again in the trucking industry. Some people wind up having to lose their job. Well, as you guys know, night swift basically just bought us express a few months back and uh they purchased them for like 808 million 808 billion something like that i can't remember the exact number but they they bought these guys for a lot of money you know what i'm saying and um now they have came to the conclusion that the layoff of employees after expressing market weakness at least that's what Freightways read. If you're not familiar with Freightways, I suggest you go check them out, man. Check them out. They have some pretty good articles over there or whatever. So make sure you go check out their platform as well. But according to Freightways, Knight Swift lays off employees after expressing market weakness. So us as drivers, us as being out here on the road, you know, we all been catching it. We know this is, you know, up and down industry as i stated in one of my previous videos if you haven't checked it out go back and check out some of the previous videos that i have dropped and um yeah i'd be discussing some of these things so you know we all know that the market has been very weak here lately and um a lot of people can't keep up man these these rates i mean they keep getting lower and lower um a lot of these companies going out of business a lot of small companies going out of business um there's no type of help you know, at least when COVID was along, you know, people were getting help. And, you know, you had PPP loans and stuff for that situation and all or whatever. But a lot of people use that PPP money and they um they started running the trucking industry into the ground, basically. That's just my own theory. That's my own thought. That's not no uh, something that's set in stone. So don't go looking for that nowhere. But anyways... Freight waves read, Knight Swift Transportation, one of the largest trucking companies in the U.S., is facing a tumultuous period marked by disappointing financial results and a bleak outlook for the year ahead. As a response to these challenges, this week the company has conducted a series of layoffs affecting an undisclosed number of employees at the company, according to various sources. Mm, that's not good. These developments come on the heels of the second quarter earnings miss and lowered full year earnings guidance, which has prompted the company to take cost cutting measures. The source close to the company said the layoffs are set to be completed by the end of this week. Layoff employees came from support departments, including human resources, information technologies or IT and other ancillary support role i don't know what ancillary is but whatever it is i gotta go look that up i'm quite sure you guys gotta go look it up too but it roles affected included business analysis scrum masters and quality analysts analysts product managers and project managers so as of now they're saying those are the only ones affected they're saying that basically none of the drivers aren't if aren't what uh uh, wasn't affected at this moment and it goes on to read that uh sources say that uh that was affected the layoffs indicate oh let me see let me go back let me go back i'm moving a little too fast another source within the organization that was affected by the layoffs indicated that the roles directly related to the company's core business functions such as drivers drive managers customer managers and customer facing roles were not impacted by the layoffs some in the affected departments were even offered roles back into their previous work in core business functions so some of the guys they was offered their old job say like you know maybe you was a driver and then you became you know part of the it team or maybe you was a driver and then you went to the human resources department 
So before they got rid of you, they might have said, hey, you want your job back as a driver? You know, we could do that. But as of this moment, you know, we, we got to make tons of cuts in these departments. So sad news, man. I just want to bring that to y'all. You know, I ain't know if y'all guys had heard, you know, the news or whatever. But like I told you before, it's Big Bank Take Little Bank. Night Swift, they went in and bought U.S. Express out because they didn't want U.S. Express to basically buy them out. So they made the move first, bought them out. Now they don't have the competition with U.S. Express anymore, and now they're starting to make cuts. So if the market don't get any better, any better, you guys can really look for more and more cuts to come. I'm talking about these bigger companies. You know, the freight isn't there. The freight isn't out there. People are afraid of inflation. No one's spending any money. So nothing's really moving. No product is moving. I mean, you got your basic products that's moving, but you know, the things that used to move, they just aren't moving anymore. And you know, we got war in Ukraine and you know, a whole lot of other stuff and things that's taking a place, taking that's taking place around the world. So, and you got a lot of these drivers that's going on strike. You know, they're supposed to be setting up some kind of strike. They're supposed to be going on. I think it's some Mexican, the Mexican drivers. They're supposed to be 300, 300,000 drivers supposed to be going on strike. And I think they're supposed to be trying to bring it to the, to the U.S. Don't mark my word on that. Now, that's, those aren't, those, that's not me saying that. It's just something that I read and some stuff that I've been hearing while out here on the road. So, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Hit me up in the comment section. Let me know. Do you think this industry is going to withstand the test of times? Or do you think this is just a a hiccup and, you know, it'll fly over, you know, soon or whatever? Do you think we waiting on another uh, political office to get into office or, I mean, another political party to get into office? Or, you know, what do you think is going on? Let me know. I would love to know. Or, or let the supporters of the channel know. We would all love to know what what do you think is going on out here? What is taking place? I don't know. But anyway, till next time, runaway child, and we are yes. What y'all wanna do, man? Y'all wanna let go? Let's go.